Hi everyone, today I will make chè khúc bạch. It's the newest and hottest dessert trend in Vietnam this summer. It's just amazing to see how this dessert gets so popular in just a few months. Everybody in Vietnam is getting crazy about this. Let's find out the reason why. In a small bowl, add in 4 tablespoons or a quarter cup of water. Then sprinkle one small package of gelatin all over it. You want to use cold water for this step. The gelatin gonna absorb the water and become spongy. This is called blooming gelatin, which will help our final product to have a smooth, silky texture. In a square mold, add in equal amounts of milk and whipping cream, 200 ml each. Then add 60 grams of sugar and stir well to dissolve. To have the sugar to dissolve more quickly, you can bring it on the stove at very low heat. But that is rather tricky because if you boil this mixture, the gelatin will lose its efficiency and the pudding will not set. So my trick is to put it in a tray of boiling water and stir well. The heat from the boiling water will help the sugar to dissolve without overheating the mixture. After soaking the gelatin powder in the water, it has turned into a sponge like this. Now you want to put it into that same tray of hot water and stir well until it's dissolved into the liquid form. You can also put it into a microwave for 30 seconds using the defrost function. And then just keep stirring until it turns into a rather translucent liquid like this. Then pour it into the milk and whipping cream mixture and stir well. The gelatin will make the mixture set into a delicate pudding or panna cotta or jelly, whatever you call it. Then cover and put it in the fridge for at least 5 hours to set. You can also add more flavors to the pudding. For example here, I dissolve some of the green tea powder in the milk and add to the mixture together with the gelatin. Next, toast the sliced almond in a pan until golden brown. Try to shake the pan instead of stirring to keep the almond slices stay in their shape. The original recipe calls for fresh light cheese, but it's not always available here where I live, so I substitute with canned longans and light cheese in syrup. Alright, so after 5 hours, the panna cotta has set. Run a paring knife along the edges of the mold, then remove it and transfer to a plate. To assemble the dessert, fill the serving bowl with some crust ice, add in longans, lychee and sugar syrup. Then use a wave knife to cut the pudding into bite-sized pieces and add it into the dessert. The pudding looks like tofu but it tastes really rich, just like cream cheese. That might be the reason why the Vietnamese find it really fascinating. Also, when it combines with the fresh fruits and the crunchy fragrant almond slices, it becomes a really refreshing dessert to kill the torturing heat this summer. I hope you're gonna give this a try and let me know how yours turned out. Thank you for watching. Bye bye!